Hi, third grade. It's Miss Whittemore, the voice of Miss Whittemore. I'm gonna take you through some of the pages of this really cool book that I have at my house. And it's a book of the world, but not all of the countries of the world. It does focus on the seven continents at the beginning. So I figured we would go through, trip down memory lane and sing a little song. Um, I hope you all know it, otherwise it's gonna be news to you. So, <clears throat> Here's the seven continents, guys. North America, South America, Europe and Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and don't forget Australia. Australia is right. Very good. All right, so those are the seven continents. North America, South America, Europe and Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and don't forget Australia. Very good. Very, very good. All right. So where are we going? We're, we're not going to Africa because we're focusing on Peru. And Peru is a country in South America. So we're gonna go to the Peru section. We're not gonna go to the Africa section, even though soon we'll be doing that when we focus on Nigeria. But that's not yet. Here's the North America section because there's the US. Oh, look, it's Peru, guys. It is Peru, which means that we are absolutely in the, that's right, the South America section. So here's Peru. So I'm gonna flip this around so that we can do a scan of this cool page. And then we're gonna do a nice close reading of some of it. Cause I think it's an inspiring book full of wondrous uh, illustrations that will help you, I don't know, be even more inspired to do the research that you guys are already seemingly excited to do. So let's take a little trip through this page of Peru. So here's the title page. I mean, the title's at the top, in the left-hand corner. We have Peru. Here's the flag of Peru. Capital of Peru is, that's right, Lima. What languages are spoken in Peru? Spanish is the most commonly spoken language, but then we also know that there's a, there is a lot of diversity in Peru. There's a long history and so Quechua, Aymara, and other indigenous languages. Um, I see here the population says 29 million, which means that the population has grown since this book was published because thanks to our research the other day uh, in the encyclopedia, the Britannica for Kids section, uh, we know it's like 31 or 32 million now. Very cool. So those are the facts, the basic, the key information and let's look at some of the things that we'll find in Peru. We have the Andean cock of the rock up there. We know we have that cool video on the animal slideshow that shows the amazing wingspan. Um, what do we have? We have, look at this, the equatorial rainforest. And we know that Peru, the equator, rainforest. <gasps> look over here, we have the Amazon River. Rainbow boa. We have some foods commonly found in the north. They're all over Peru, like Peruvian <gasps> ceviche, which is raw fish marinated in lemon juice with onion and chili. We have chupe de camarones, which is the shrimp soup. <gasps> Tomatoes, peanuts, corn, chili peppers, custard apple, military macaw, the harpy eagle. We have, so which one of these are, which of these are natural features of Peru? So I would say the rainbow boa, right? But not ceviche. Ceviche would be something that humans came up with using natural resources. Over here, I see, oh, llamas, definitely natural. Coffee, amazing. Look, we have here the pygmy marmoset. We have the tarsier leaf frog. We have the tallest mountain in Peru, which is part of the, check it out, A-N-D-E-S, the Andes Mountains. That's right. That's the mountain range. So Huascaran is the highest peak in Peru. It's the highest peak in the Andes Mountain Range. Over here, we have some cities. So again, that's not a natural feature. That's something that humans came up with, right? So that's a church, Trujillo. And then we have, oh, look, it's a roseate spoonbill, sorry. Bonito, we have like tuna. 
Then we have, oh my gosh, I'm starting to speed up because I can hear my son getting a little anxious in the background. We have a Humboldt penguin. Very cool natural feature. Look at that guy. Yellowfin tuna, South American sea lion, great white shark. Remember the Pacific Ocean. It's really important to Peru that they have all of this coastline. The fishing industry is so important in Peru and it's really important that we keep this that we human beings, plant, citizens of Earth, keep this coastline healthy so that lots of animals can live here um, and live harmoniously with human beings, right? I wanted to draw your attention to, oh yeah, what's this? Come on, Machu Picchu. So many of you are interested in writing about that for your human-made feature, but that's not a natural feature. That's an amazing city that was left undiscovered for a couple hundred years, but it's definitely not a natural feature, but it is in the Andes Mountains, which is a natural feature. Guinea pigs, Manu National Park, check it out. I challenge you guys to go on the internet and do more research about some of these because I know we didn't have that much time to go over this in class and there's only so much that can be done with a slideshow, so Come to office hours, talk about these things. Let's do some internet searches. I challenge you to study more and really see that learning about a country is endless. There's always new things to learn. Things are always changing. Look at this, the floating islands. Check that out, please. I challenge you. Um, Arequipa and cotton is grown there. Uru reed boats. Prehistoric drawings in the Toquepale Caves. What? Let's check it out. So that's Peru. And we'll be back again to do more readings of pages like this. But I wanted to give you something a little extra today as you thought about the natural features of Peru and also thought about some of the human-made features that you'll be thinking about next week. Enough. Thank you for reading with me.